Hosanna to the name of the Most High God. The Lord bless you. The face of the Lord shine upon you. This is your brother Bernard. I welcome you to another edition of our daily devotion. I want us to see the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 6 verse 1 and 2. And we're going to also read Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 13. And I want to speak briefly on what I have captioned. O oh Lord, give me the power to eat the fruits of my labor. O oh Lord, give me the power to eat the fruits of my labor. Ecclesiastes 6 from verse 1. There is an evil which I have seen under the sun, and it is common among men. Verse 2. A man to whom God has given riches and wealth and honor, so that he lacks nothing for himself of all he desires. Yet God does not give him the power to eat of it. But a foreigner or strangers shall consume it. This is vanity and it is an evil affliction. Ecclesiastes 3.13 And also that every man should eat and drink and enjoy the good of all his labor. It is the gift of God. Yes, you've heard it. The church is taught much about power to gain wealth, power to be prosperous. But little has been taught about the power to eat of that world. Hence you see people, they gather and when it's time for them to sit at the state of rest and eat the fruit of their labor, something terrible happened and they leave the sin. When the Bible is talking here about Foreigners will eat of it, or strangers will eat of it. It could also mean terminal disease, sickness, that are the point where you've labored all your life and you need to sit down to enjoy the fruits of your labor. You are placed down or you are bedridden. You can't eat of that labor. It could also be untimely death. So, in as much as we pray for power to get wealth, we should also be praying, O oh Lord, give me the power to eat the fruits of my labor. I will not labor in vain. I will not labor for strangers to eat. Give me the power. Ecclesiastes 3, where we have already say it is a gift from God. So, if God has not given it to you, you cannot enjoy it. And we have the check to ask. Matthew 7, 7, ask and it shall be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door shall be opened. The asking part of it, don't just assume, ask. Father, give me the power. Give me the power to eat of my labor. Give me the power to eat of the fruits of my labor. I cannot labor in vain. You find some families... They struggle, they send the child to school and when it's time that the child needs to take care of, of the parents, the parents leave the scene. They exit the planet. So they labor in vain. Others will eat of it thereof. You find some people, they study them in the medical field, take at least seven years to study. And when it's their time to enjoy the fruit of their studies, something terrible happens, takes them out of the scene. Oh Lord, grant me the power to eat the fruits of my labor. I cannot labor in vain. I cannot work for strangers to eat. Sickness will not eat of my labor. Strangers will not eat of my labor. I receive grace. I receive empowerment to eat the fruits 
of my labor in the name of Jesus. That is a prayer. You need to be praying. Balance the scale. Ask God for the power to eat of the fruits of your labor. This is the word of the Lord for today. I remain your brother Bernard. I see you soon as the Lord lives. Stay under the canopy of God's grace and his mercies. Shalom.